okay so this video is going to be about how money can influence trust and friendship so this is a story of two of my friends uh, for the purpose of this video let's call them raj and rahul so two months ago i got a message from raj on whatsapp uh, saying asking for 500 bucks the message said something like uh, hi brother i need uh, 500 rupees urgently it's uh, i'm in dire need i'll return to you as soon as possible uh, worst case scenario in two weeks so essentially he is a very good friend and uh, you know seeing that he was in need and 500 bucks is not really that big of an amount to me so i immediately transferred the money to him a uh, couple of days later i got a similar message from rahu only this time he said only rahul said that uh, you know he uh, is financially strapped right now and cannot return the money for at least two months and uh, uh, so i was like yeah it doesn't matter you're a good friend i'll transfer you the amount right away i asked for the account details and transferred the money uh, now today i got uh, a an sms intimation about upi uh, intimating me that i just received 500 rupees from rahul so uh, and that was funny you know it, it uh, and uh, i also received another whatsapp message from raj asking me for 1000 rupees uh, which is when i remembered that uh, i'd also lent him 500 bucks which he had promised to give me back within uh, two weeks and he hadn't and now he was asking for more money on the other hand, there is Rahul who took money and returned it before time. And now, uh, I had forgotten about both these amounts, to be honest. You know, I didn't care. 500 bucks is too small an amount. But uh, uh, think about this. If I had to, uh, you know, start a new business, I, need, I needed a business partner. And, uh, you know, both Raj and Rahul had the right skills. Who would I choose? Obviously, I would choose Rahul because I'd forgotten the amount and uh, I'd I hadn't even mentioned it. Rahul by himself, uh, you know, uh, cared enough to uh, remember when he had to return the money and transfer the amount before due date. Raj, on the other hand, uh, you know, took the money and forgot it like I did. Now it's not that big of a deal, 500 bucks is too, too little, too less, doesn't matter. But uh, it actually, uh, you know, signals about something much deeper in the, in the psyche of Rajan. And I was, as I was uh, sort of talking about this to another, uh, one of our mutual friends, a uh, friend of Rajan mine, he told me that something like this had happened with him too. So essentially, what I want to basically highlight in this video is if you know somebody who's doing such a thing it uh, irrespective of the amount of money uh, it's basically an a, a trait that's ingrained in that person and uh, you know if he betrays you today for a small amount of money it doesn't matter tomorrow if he gets a chance he'll betray you uh, with even big and much bigger amount of money because that's who he is that's the way he thinks he thinks it's okay to take money and forget about it and uh, you know the point being uh, that such a person is not trustable and by instinct when uh, you have to do let's say a much bigger transaction or you have to uh, loan somebody uh, uh, money loan out money at for interest or something like that you would not choose the person who didn't return that small amount of money because you know that this person might actually not return this bigger amount either because that's who he is so uh, yeah that's about friendship trust and money